How did Barack Obama do on his second run for president compared to his first? Today in Political Excess, we're going to go through all the states and see where the shifts are between 2008 and 2012. So I'm sure this data is out there in other places, but I made my own spreadsheet and I've done some other presidential years. Take a look at those videos if you'd like. But today I just wanted to take a look and see how Barack Obama did on his second term. We know he's running for re-election. We know he typically did worse in most of the states. So there's going to be a lot of red on this map. But I do like to look at lots of different kinds of data. So today it's 08 versus 12. So in the first column here we have the states followed by the Democratic vote in 2008, which is Barack Obama. Next to that is John McCain, the Republican vote in 2008, followed by Obama in 2012. And next to that is Mitt Romney, the 2012 Republican vote, followed by the Democratic shifts between those two years. Next to that is the Republican shift. And the last column, that is the net change between these two years, between the two parties. And I also have some shading under five points are the light red and blue. All the way up to 10 point or more shifts those would be the dark red or dark blue so let's get started here in alabama in 2008 barack obama got 38.7 percent of the vote john mccain the republican got 60.3 jump ahead to 2012 obama dipped slightly to 38.4 romney did slightly better for the republicans at 60.6 that is a 0.3 percent loss for barack obama a 0.3 percent gain for the republicans and a total net change up six tenths of a point toward the republicans not a lot of change there republicans did slightly better so let's quickly go through the rest of these in alaska that had a big change in the other direction that went seven and a half points toward barack obama and the democrats part of that reason might be gary johnson and other third party candidates on the ballot in 2012 but even so alaska is the state where barack obama improved by far the most in his second run over his first the next state arizona that had a mild 0.6% shift toward the Republicans. Arkansas went 3.9 toward the right. California also shifted in that direction by just under one point. Colorado is typically a blue state, but Obama lost 3.6% support. Connecticut, that took a step toward the right by five points. Delaware also by 6.4. Florida went 1.9 to the right. Georgia, 2.6. Hawaii also went 2.5 toward the right. Idaho, 6.4 toward the Republicans. Illinois, that was Barack Obama's home state, and he did 8.2% worse in 12 than he did in 2008. Indiana in 08, Barack Obama won that state nearly, and four years later, it lurched hard 11.3% toward the Republicans. How about in Iowa? That was won by Barack Obama both times, but the second time he did 3.7% worse. Kansas went 6.7% toward the Republicans, Kentucky 6.1%. Louisiana actually saw an improvement for Barack Obama by 1.6%. Maine went back toward the Republicans by 2%. Maryland, that had another slight improvement for Obama by 0.7%. Massachusetts did go toward the Republicans by 26 Michigan, that had a nice shift toward the GOP by 6.9%. Minnesota went 26 toward the right. Mississippi that went toward the left, actually, by 1.7%. Missouri took a big step toward the Republicans by 9.2%. Montana went even further by 11.3%. Nebraska, 6.9% toward the Republicans. Nevada, 58 toward the Republicans. New Hampshire, 41 toward the Republicans. New Jersey, that's another state where Barack Obama improved on his margin, and it went 2.3% more toward the left. In New Mexico, again, Gary Johnson was on the ballot there. He was previously the governor of New Mexico, and that might have played a role into the state shifting 4.9% toward the Republicans. New York went 1.3% further toward the left. North Carolina went 2.3% toward the right. North Dakota, that went double digits, 10.9% toward the Republicans. In Ohio, Barack Obama also won that state twice. The second time, it was by a reduced 1.6% margin. The next state is Oklahoma, and that went 2.3 toward the GOP. In Oregon, that went 4.4 toward the Republicans. Pennsylvania, that hit 5.1 toward the Republicans. In Rhode Island, very little change there, three-tenths of a percent toward the Republicans. South Carolina, one and a half toward the Republicans. South Dakota, big jump there, 9.4 toward the GOP. In Tennessee, Barack Obama did 5.3% worse there than he did in 2008. Texas saw a shift toward the Republicans by 4%. How about in Utah? That had the biggest shift of all. A lot of that would be because Mitt Romney has a connection with Utah, and he was the nominee in 2012. 
but that still shifted hard 19.9% away from the Democrats and toward the Republicans. Moving on to Vermont, that went 1.4 toward the Republicans. Virginia also went in that direction by 2.4. Washington, similarly, by 2.1. West Virginia, that took a big step toward the Republicans by 13.7. Wisconsin, also a decent shift there, 7% toward the Republicans. And finally, the last state is Wyoming. That had a good jump toward the Republicans by 8.5%. And that is it. Those are all of the states. We could go one step farther with this. Take all this data and apply it to a map. And here it is. This will help you visualize more of the changes. And as I already said, there's a ton of red on here. Alaska was Obama's best state where he improved the most between the two elections. And for the most part, he did a few points worse in many of these states. But there were a bunch of shifts that were over five points. Those are the darker red colors, and the very darkest red, those are the 10 or more point shifts. The very lightest shading, those are under one point shifts. We'll say those are the tilt margins, places like California and Arizona. Now, this isn't too surprising. Obama still did win re-election, but he just fell down a little bit from his high point of 2008. But a weaker re-election bid is not really all that unheard of. I did compare the two most recent presidential elections, 2016 and 20. We could see across the board there, Donald Trump generally did weaker in almost all the states. That's similar to this map, only it's the opposite, as there's a ton of red here, and there was a ton of blue on that map. And in that situation, Trump ended up narrowly losing. This had Obama winning. It wasn't a narrow win, but it was nowhere near his complete blowout of 2008. So feel free to draw any conclusions you'd like. Of course, again, there are also third-party candidates to consider, as well as individual nuances as there are with any election. Sometimes there's nothing else to do except just look at the map, look at the data, see where the shifts are, and leave it at that. I don't think you're going to really get much out of wondering why Obama improved in Louisiana, but maybe him losing more than five points in a state like Illinois, that's a little bit more notable. But even then, the main point is just to enjoy looking at the data. So let me know in the comments. What do you think about the shifts in any of these states? And do you enjoy looking at these kinds of political shifts? Let me know down below. And on your way out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video.